are welcome to this edition of the Power Circuit, a program brought to you by the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, to inform you about its efforts towards advancing bulk power transmission and its other roles in the power sector. It also showcases the passionate moves of the Minister of Power, Engineer Saleh Maman, in reforming the sector. I am Chinwenwa Anyaou. And with me on the program today is Amara Agugesi. In today's edition, we have special reports packaged for your viewing delight. From the minister's desk, you will get to know the various strides of the Minister of Power, Engineer Maman, of recent, as we bring you a highlight of a series of activities. TCN Electricity Employees commit to boosting operational synergy. Coming your way on the transmission mandate is a report on the Nigerian Society of Engineers, NSE, as it recently conferred an award on the acting managing director of TCN, Engineer Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz, during its 2020 Engineering Week and AGM. And TCN management team at a recent meeting boosted the morale of regional transmission managers towards more productivity. Get more reports on that. In Benue State, TCN says the 330-132 kilovolts Apira transmission station is changing the narratives of bulk power delivery beyond the state. We need you to stick with us through this half-hour program. Please don't go away. The Minister of Power, Engineer Saleh Maman, is not relenting in his vision of reforming the power sector and seeing to a new experience of improved power supply for Nigerians. This report highlights some critical workday activities of the Minister. Do have a view of them. The Minister of Power, Engineer Saleh Maman, in recent time has had a series of activities that are crucial towards driving the power sector reform mandate. He was at the National Assembly where he briefed the Joint Committee on Power, chaired by Senator Gabriel Suzwan, about the status of major projects in the power sector and the electricity tariff plan recently implemented by the electricity distribution companies. He assured the lawmakers that the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission would monitor the discourse to ensure strict compliance. The minister who was accompanied by the permanent secretary in the Federal Ministry of Power, Mr. Chinyaka Christian Oha, among other officials, also briefed the committee on the status of the Zungeru Hydroelectric Power Station, the Kashimbila Power Station, the Mambila Hydroelectric Power Station, and the Siemens Presidential Power Initiative Project. Engineer Maman had in his office received the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of First Bank of Nigeria PLC, Dr. Adeshola Kazim Adedotun, and his team. Both parties had positive key discussions that were centered on the Nigerian power sector. The minister during this review period took time to congratulate Siemens Nigeria for attaining 50 years of excellent innovative engineering operations in Nigeria. Engineer Salim Maman also taxed them on delivering on the Presidential Power Initiative, a project that has already been activated by President Muhammad Buhari to overhaul the power transmission and distribution systems with improved power supply by over 7,000 megawatts from 2021. On its part, Siemens in a post said its success in Nigeria over the last 50 years can be measured by the significant value it has added from building power and other infrastructure developing local capacity, and doing business compliantly according to the world-class standards of excellence. Earlier in the period spanning less than a week, the Minister of Power was at the Ministry of Aviation and was received by the Minister of Aviation, Malam Hadi Sirika. Maman commended the Aviation Minister for his efforts towards making the Nigerian aviation sector a world-class. Continuing in his stance of building core relationships, the Minister Engineer Maman received the Governor of Sokoto State, Amin Waziri Tambowal, in his office at the powerhouse in Abuja. The Minister and the Governor had fruitful discussions on electricity supply milestones in Sokoto State as he assured Governor Tambowal that the relevant power agencies under the Power Ministry would urgently address issues to improve supply.
The management of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, and the executives of the National Union of Electricity Employees, NUI, have reiterated their synergy towards addressing operational issues and the welfare of members of staff. The meeting was led by the acting MD, CEO of TCN Engineer Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz and the General Secretary of NUI, Comrade Joe Ajero, at the TCN Corporate Headquarters in Abuja. Let me start by congratulating the Secretary General for his election as the Deputy National President of NLC. He further highlighted the achievements of the Transmission Company of Nigeria since he assumed duty as the Acting Managing Director. This our team is new. We just came almost uh, four months ago. But within this period, we have achieved a lot. Engineer Abdulaziz said the Transmission Rehabilitation Program meant to expand the power transmission grid was on course while targeting the completion of over 100 ongoing projects. So far, within these three months, we have completed the following. We have completed two by one three kb line bay extension at Ikorodu and Shagamu. We have completed installation of 100 MBA at Oba. We have completed the construction of two by 60 MBA at Gagarawa. We have completed the installation of one, one by 30 MBA at Ishein. And we have completed installation of 100, 150 MBA at Kanoku Bozo. All these projects are completed and are awaiting official commissioning by the Honorable Minister. Then also, we are planning a retirement training for 73 TCN staff. Already a consultant has been identified to carry out this assignment. Engineer Abdulaziz said, among other things, TCN effectively transmitted all-time peak generation of 5,377.8 megawatts on August 1st and repeated same on August 19th when all-time peak generation of 5,420.3 megawatts, which was 23.5 megawatts, more than the earlier peak generation of 5,377.8 megawatts achieved on August 1st, 2020. The TCN Hensman also said the company has boosted its operation due to the cordial relationship it is having with the electricity market participants. This is done because of our cordial relationship with all the market participants. He further spoke about collaborations with international financiers, including the African Development Bank, in their support for the execution of critical power transmission projects. In order to keep the transmission rehabilitation and expansion program moving, even during the COVID, COVID pandemic, we have met by Zoom with key international donors agencies to build more confidence and demonstrate TCN's readiness to work with them and solicit for their support. Responding, the General Secretary of Nui and Deputy President, Nigerian Labor Congress, Engineer Joe Ajero, commended the TCN management for maintaining robust relationships with other agencies and market participants in the power sector. He, however, called for a distinction ensuring that TCN was more enhanced with projects delivery. We only really need to look at the projects that were awarded contracts to find out whether there are projects that could be handled internally by our workers. So if there are, we look at it and see the ones who can handle internally, look at their costs, the implications, and see the one that is cheaper for us. The union leader, while pledging his support to the management of TCN, said continuous discussions were crucial to sustaining the relationship between the management and the staff union of the company. We will always make room for reconciliation so that we move the system forward. If you watch all the issues we raise here, whether we deny it or not, some of them are management issues to make your work more effective, more efficient. In his concluding remarks, the acting MD CEO of TCN assured that he will do more to make the members of staff happier. We'll bring you more informative reports after this break. To clarify that land before you buy it, to drastically reduce the incidence of building under the transmission right of way, 
or encroaching on designated TCN land, members of the public are hereby requested to verify land near or along transmission line route before purchasing it. Verification should be made in the Land Development Authority or at the TCN office. This would help in drastically reducing the incidence of building under transmission line right of way and save us all the problem of pulling down the structure or truncating transmission line expansion projects in your community due to court injunction. Help us serve you better. Verify that land before you buy it. The Nigerian Society of Engineers, NSE, has conferred an award on the Acting Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, Engineer Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz. The award presentation was part of the events lined up for the NSE's 10th Engineering Week and the 2020 Annual General Meeting with the theme engineering education and its impact on national development. The executive director, transmission service provider, TSP at TCN, engineer Victor Adewumi, received the award on behalf of the acting MD of TCN, engineer Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz. The Acting Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, Engineer Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz, along with his management team, has held a meeting with the regional transmission managers of the company to further boost work relations towards more productivity. At the meeting, which was held at the corporate headquarters of TCN in Abuja, Engineer Abdulaziz lauded the regional transmission managers for their performance and charged them to do more towards the collective pursuit for an advanced power transmission grid in Nigeria. I want to thank you all for what you have been doing in the region. Since I came on board, we don't have much challenges. You see, the system has been running well. We don't have much trippings, and uh, everybody is, everything is going well. The maintenance job is not something that is easy because you don't have any notice if something is going to happen. But uh, with your own experience and cooperation, you have been helping well in that aspect. And uh, we are happy to say that uh, everybody is saying that there is a change in TC and, and everybody is happy. He said the management has various motivation strategies and the provision of more equipment for the staff to enable them dedicate more efforts towards their respective roles. Providing more equipment for, for this for maintenance work. As we are talking now, we have put a tender, almost uh, 40 something lots, if I'm not uh, mistaken, which uh, all of them are spare parts. So by the time we procure all these uh, equipment, I think we have a lot to do in maintenance. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you for, for your cooperation, and I hope you will continue to uh, cooperate with us. Thank you very much. Also speaking during the meeting, the executive director of the transmission service provider TSP at TCN, engineer Victor Adewumi, said, When the right things are done, of course, people will rejoice. So I want to thank the MD for the promotion. I equally want to uh, thank the MD for creating the uh, enabling environment. Just like he said, I think the regions are quiet now. As you can see from the field now, we are getting positive results. Even, from, even in the midst of a rainy season, we are recording peak. You cannot imagine what will happen by the time we begin to get to the dry season. So we want to thank MD for this. Engineer Adewumi, however, urged the RTMs to show responsibility towards the judicial management of resources, especially at a time when TCN management was much more committed towards boosting maintenance of power transmission networks nationwide. The Regional Transmission Manager of Lagos, Engineer Lamina Adebola, who spoke on behalf of other RTMs, commended the acting MD of TCN for dedicating time to meeting with the RTMs, saying it was a good show of effective leadership style. We are putting all our effort to ensure that we minimize ratings in all the regions. 
And this is our teams we have signed for. And these are the things we are going to be doing. Uh, from now till whatever. We assure you that um, given all the right environment, we are going to perform wonderfully well for the glory of God and uh, the management. Concluding the technical session of the meeting, the Executive Director of the Transmission Service Provider TSP, Engineer Deumi, further taxed the regional managers on the need for more synergy with the theme at the headquarters in their operations. Is that there is need for more synergy you know, between all of us in headquarters and those of all you that are representing you, that I mean, are representing us in the, the regions. We are together, we are one family, and that is what we want to establish. <clears throat> you know, when you look back, the, there is no way if you have spent 30, 35 years with somebody, that person is already part of your life. But with that, I want to appreciate all of you for this wonderful meeting. I know our discussion has been very, very fruitful. I can see that we are really making progress. Uh, this whole kind of meeting will be from time to time. I believe in meeting, though, for me. I believe in meeting. We'll be moving, we'll be having this meeting from time to time. And I don't want to send in representatives. You are the GM. Come and attend this meeting personally. Anytime we ask for this meeting. So I want to thank you for this uh, wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful uh, uh, deliberation. And I want to wish all of us uh, your journey messages back to our respective uh, uh, regions. One critical aim of the Transmission Company of Nigeria is to ensure that no state is without the crucial infrastructure for bulk power transmission in Nigeria. While it has continued with multiple partnerships with state governments to build more power facilities to further attain this target, our crew assesses the 330-132 kilovolt appeal transmission station near Makadi in Benue State, where a senior official said that the facility was changing the narratives of bulk power delivery since it came into operation in 2014. At the 330 132 33 kilovolts appeal transmission station in Makrodi, Benue State. The Assistant General Manager Transmission at Appeal Sub Region of the Enugu Region of TCN, Engineer Emmanuel Alpas, said the facility was a work center under the Enugu Region before TCN expanded its scope to improve bulk power delivery to distribution load centers across Benue, Taraba, and Kogi states. When we came here, it was just a mobile truck. Mobitra 40 MVA that was in service, serving the whole place. Um, that's the Mobitra somewhere down there. We started the new works center with about five engineers that were posted. From that 2010, we, all of us we were all here. And um, shortly, the idea of uh, the 330, the Chinese company that's awarded for the, for the contract, they mobilized. And we started from the beginning. Right from because, because all this place was, as you see them, we are slow, all slums before. So we, we are here from the beginning. And uh, what you see now, we are part of it from the beginning to now. From the work center in 2010, uh, progressively now we are a sub region. From Amiga 40 MVA transformer capacity, engineer Aqua said. The station has grown to a mega facility. It was only 40 MVA transformer, but as present, we have uh, a total of uh, total capacity. We have one, almost 225 uh, MVA capacity, as I'm talking to you now. So the it was a gradual process, but we thank God where we are today. Speaking on the coverage area of the facility. The TCN officials said it is sent through several substations that feed distribution load centers in Taraba and Kogi states. From here, it's a, a kind of interconnection between uh, the north and the south. But within our own complex, we service about three states. We service Benue, Benue state. We service part of Taraba and part of Kogi state. We have our stations 
that is from where the 150 MVA feeds to other out stations. We have a Tukbo out station, we have Yandev out station. From Yandev, we'll be able to feed part of Taraba, and from Otukbo, Tears, we'll be able to feed part of Kogi State. He also said, although the station is six years old, there are further plans for expansion as with all other facilities of TCN. So the management in their wisdom intends to bring in another 150 MVA. 150 MVA, that's the one, uh, 330, 132 level. And the another 60 MVA, we have 160 already, already another 160 MVA of uh, 132.33. And then increase our feeders. The Tatric heavy feeders, additional three air feeders is expected when that, those ones arrive. Inside the control room of IPR transmission station, which also serves as an area control center for TCN operations, the area controller and senior manager of system operations, engineer E.K. Edwin Nana, explained the components of the facility. A P area control center is made up of uh, four stations. This one here is the 330, which is the highest voltage we have in the area. We have a P132, we have Yandev 132, we have uh, Otuko 132. A P132 is taking care of Makodi and uh, the environs. Otuko is taking care of uh, part of Benue and part of Kogi. Yandev is taking part of uh, Benue and part of Taraba and part of Cross River. So these are our coverage areas. TCN takes so much pride in promoting safety. The assistant manager, health, safety, and environment, Lillian Opera at the Apple Transmission Station and subregion further helped on this course and the COVID-19 prevention strategies. Even though we have been giving them emergency drill, and we give, keep from time to time, keep talking and giving them, but when this thing came, just because we have idea, we now call on staff, give them pep talk, you know, give them, gave them drills on the pandemic. Then with the help of management, we are able to procure. Everybody coming inside is their safety first. So we have to procure, keeping in our strategic position, our gates, entrance gates for our visitors. Then even at the offices, the control room, everywhere, all the strategic positions, we have to place all these uh, uh, safety measures. As we round up, here are the headlines again. From the minister's desk, you viewed the recent strides of the Minister of Power, Engineer Sally Maman. TCN electricity employees commit to boosting operational synergy. The Nigerian Society of Engineers, NSE, has conferred an outstanding performance award on the acting managing director of TCN, Engineer Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz, during its 2020 Engineering Week that came on the transmission mandate segment of this program. You also heard that the TCN management team at a recent meeting boosted the morale of regional transmission managers towards more productivity. And in Benue State, TCN has changed the narrative of bulk power delivery beyond the state through the modernized 330-132 kilovolts appear transmission station. We are glad you always stay with us on the power circuit. You can view this episode and others on TCN YouTube channel. Please interact with us on these platforms as TCN needs your support to advance its mandate. Coronavirus is real and tens of thousands have died globally. In spite of the decline in reported cases as announced by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, Please keep observing the safety protocols and stay safe. And happy Independence Day. I am Chiwenwa Anyaung. And I am Amara Agugesi. Let's keep in touch next week.